Hey, so I was hoping I could upload a video today of um, me and my husband and the kids driving around doing some errands while I was crocheting because I made sure I took my granny squares with me and was working on them. And I did record the video just so that's out of the way. Um, the issues I'm having, it's too large of a video, even after I cut it down from like 12 minutes down to eight, it's, I'm having issues getting it sent through my emails onto my laptop from my phone and then trying to do a voiceover on it, uh, talking through it. And um, so I thought I'd just jump on instead and talk about it while I'm sitting here since I have a lot of other things going on today. So what I did in the video is pretty much what I'm doing now, crocheting the way I've been teaching. Um, yeah, that was a sentence, excuse me. So I was crocheting in the video the way I taught myself years ago, what I thought was comfortable on that. But anymore, of course, I f get tension right up in this portion of my hand mostly because I'm holding the hook, but I'm also holding the yarn tail end. So one of the things was I've been trying to retrain myself to do it this way, which if I remember correctly is left-handed, but I kind of do a mix of left and right by holding it like I'm knitting because that was the first thing I ever learned from my grandmother was knitting. She taught me to knit and then tried teaching herself to crochet with her books and tools that she had, but then handed it to me one day and said, can you figure this out for me? And then try showing me. Even after I tried showing her, she was not getting it at all. So I ended up getting all of those books and supplies and that. Unfortunately, I kept them at her house since so she did pay for them. And the majority of that did get lost in a fire the family had. So not too worried about it. I have my own stuff now. But all in all, um, it is a passion, thanks to her, that I've been hanging on to all these years. So another thing I was trying to cover in said video that I can't upload is the fact that I am almost done with these squares. I'm doing the front end of this ambulance blanket. The only other thing I'd have left to do is the background, but I want to get the truck sewn together first after I get all the squares sewn up. Now, because what I found was technically a pixel graph on Pinterest, the fire truck, if I ever do decide to get around to doing it, I'm just going to crochet like normal and count the squares that way instead of just doing each individual square as a granny square because that takes up a lot of time, as you've noted caught on and a lot of yarn a lot of cutting to make each square and so forth so I'm going to try to cut back on that and actually learn how to do pixel graph crocheting because they've never done that um trying to think what else was there And I'm going to start cutting back on doing big projects like this as well, mainly because I do really need to start cutting back down on getting things ready for shows and markets. And not only that, but pretty soon here, I'm going to have to start growing seeds for my garden and my landscape beds. Um, for those that don't know me, yet or all that too well there is how do i want to word it i guess like the backstory we'll call it for my family um i had a relative that came over to the united states in the 1800s bought a piece of property or just started utilizing it and turned it into a sustainable farm that it is today. And now it's beef and chickens and what have you. 
But because of that and because of being around my grandparents so much, I've learned that gardening is one of the things I'm going to carry on with me. So I started ordering seeds already. I got tomatoes in hand, cilantro, basil. I have onions in the yard from last year that just didn't grow to my liking. And I also have potatoes that I've bought at the store and sliced up because they started getting roots on them. Or not roots, the plant part of it. So this morning after we did some errands and running around, I went and started getting the garden tilled over and had my oldest helping me. We put the onions and the potatoes back in, marked it with the river rock that we kept finding in the dirt. And so we're getting there. Um, so like I was saying pretty soon here, cutting back on these big projects, once this is done, I'm going back to dishcloths and that. Okay, just a bunch of books fell, it's fine, it's fine. So pretty much all I had, I think. There is one thing I just noticed. I bought this and I can't remember if it was Joann's or TJ Maxx or what um because I don't think it was Walmart but no it was TJ Maxx I'm pretty sure because I was out with a friend saw this and said we have to get this for the kids so bought this a couple years ago and as you can tell I've never opened it but it's supposed to be a palm and tassel maker from Red Heart. And I don't, I've never made tassels and I've never made pom poms, but I've been wanting to test this out because currently my husband and I are tearing apart one of the bedrooms that is supposed to become the girls' rooms or the girls' room, excuse me. And Right now we have it so that we're tearing off the lath and plaster and taking it back down to the stud, putting up blue, uh, yeah, blue wall, drywall and cutting the paneling that had been up down about a quarter off the top, maybe a little more so that it doesn't come halfway up the wall but comes a little higher. So the girls aren't ruining the walls and that and coloring up on the drywall and so forth. I think that's why we were doing it. Not 100% sure. But regardless, we're trying to redo some of these rooms in the house. And my thought is to make garlands for the girls to have, so spice up the room and make it fun, more enjoyable. But I also need to start getting... Um, like a hanging net made. I had one I bought and don't know what happened to the anchors that go into the wall. I have the net somewhere with the tassels and everything to it and the lights that go with for their stuffed animals. But my thought was to do the pom-poms from front just to add some color because it's just plain cream and that doesn't seem like it's going to be fun or enjoyable to look at. So that's what that was for but I just haven't decided when. I probably would be using scrap yarn for it though, which I have a pretzel bin full as I'm sure I've shown you in a video prior. So that's that. Um, yeah, I got nothing else. So I guess we'll call it a day and I'll just keep on working here on these, which this one's almost done. You can kind of see I have just this little bit here. But I'll get these finished up, get started on getting them together, and I will catch you next week since it is Friday. Why is it not? Okay, there we go.